What's up, YouTube? Today's video is going to show you guys the best Magic Spectre deck list. Five different deck lists on how to play Magic Spectres. And I'll tell you my favorite one. And I'll tell you how to play this deck inside and out. And if you want to play the new tier one deck, it, whenever the sh this deck comes out, you got to watch this video. It's insane. Pen best deck. Let's go. This is the deck list. How to play Magic Spectres moving forward with the new ban list, with the new cards. So broken. Oh my God. And we are playing a super heavy Samurai variant. I'm going to explain every card and why we play it and the specifics between each. I'm going to show you guys five different variants of the deck. We have five variants with hand traps, like insane hand traps. We have a pure version. We have a DD version. We have a Draco Slayer version. We have a board breaker version with no hand traps. I'm going to show you all five variants. This is my personal favorite because uh, it it just is the best versus interruptions, the best going second. They're all they all have unbreakable boards going first, so that part's irrelevant. What we have here is Bambuku, Yada, and Prosperity. These are the nine cards that are one card starters. If you guys want to see the combo tutorial of this deck, make sure to check out the video I posted uh, earlier today or yesterday, a few hours before this video gets posted, you get to see these nine cards end up on an unbreakable board. Similarly, uh, Porcupine, you can play this card at two or three. Again, I have so many variants of this deck. We're going to show you guys the scenarios where you play three Pegasus and three Wind. The scenarios where you might want to play one or two specifically, because keep in mind that Pegasus, sometimes you prefer to search Pegasus with uh, Majesty Pegasus and not search Secret Village. There's scenarios where you'd prefer to search the Pegasus instead of searching this. So because of that, you rather just that one and search it afterwards. If you hard draw win in Pegasus, you have no way to actually tribute to resolve Magic Spectre Draco, which will then in part make your end board weak. You can't trigger the Draco to summon out more effects to search. I do play one Toad and one Fox, and I highly advise you guys do this in your decks. The reason why, don't play a Tempest or a Tornado, like pick one of the traps. Don't play two traps. The thing with this deck is most boards will be will put up interruptions but you don't want to open card you don't, you don't open a hand of like cyclone like let's say you play tempest in here you draw like on top of what i have but you draw tempest you draw a secret village you draw two hand traps and you drop bambuku wonderful normal bambuku effect and they ash you that's why we're playing super heavy samurai and that's why we're lowering the count of magic specters you prefer the defensive cards you see are cards that could stop your opponent even if you get stopped so post side deck this deck plays 17 hand traps these 12 you see plus these seven and you can't really main imperm unless you side out super heavy samurai because imperm hurts with super heavy samurai that's why we side imperm the way we build this deck is nine one card auto wins it's one card four interruptions full combo similarly if you hard draw porcupine which is two cards we play of this hard draw magic specter win there's two more that's four hard draw majesty pegasus that's five hard draw majesty pegasus monster that's seven we just pen summon majesty pegasus the search majesty's pegasus so similarly getting combo so that's seven toad and fox help the combos because it helps the porcupine so you have seven like card combos with nine one card combos it's so consistent and instead of playing cards like call by a cross out in the main you opted to play super heavy samurai because if your opponent does not stop the super heavy samurai cards they're fucked and unlike every other super heavy samurai deck big benkai is not a brick if you hard draw big benkai it's just a low scale i don't i don't mind i actually don't mind at all because sometimes if your link two gets stopped you need hand traps anyways sorry scales anyway you need scales anyways so that's what this is for uh we only one cyclone one tornado uh going second you could also if you want play one magic specter storm and going second you remove the storm and the tornado that way going second with the effect of yada and, and, and porcupine you basically resolve storm uh, not pendulum storm magic specter storm and then you use a uh, porcupine to reset the storm and resolve it again so going second having a magic specter storm in the side that is good because we want as many hands as possible i decided not to add it in here but it is very solid always main deck the one secret village i'm gonna show you guys all the lists we play 12 hand traps with seven hand traps post side and post side when i put in all my hand traps i remove the super heavy samurai i add in seven hand traps and some combination of call by duster lightning storm more variants is uh this one which is still pretty similar to that but it's with board breakers this is super heavy samurai again but with two two of pegasus win and more board breakers so instead of hand traps you're running with board breakers and post side you have about 16 go second cards it makes it very difficult to lose where you still start with the super heavy samurai so you start with super heavy samurai wakahashi or motorbike and if they stop it that's great so they stop it then you use your spells to actually stop the interruptions cards like book of moon eclipse talents after you use the super heavy samurai and then you one card combo their ass another version of this deck is 
uh, with DDs. So by playing Dark Contract, you not only get a one, this is a go second card, because similarly to Eclipse and Book of Moon, uh, you can go Dark Contract to search uh, Machinex, go into Zeus and clear the board. So it's another go second card, but Machinex, it's a pendulum. But because Machinex is a pendulum, you know, Unchained has a value behind playing Dark Contract that it's a fiend for one. And for two, it, you could search Dark Contract with the rank six when it goes to the grave. So with this, you the secondary value is that the link two says two pendulum monsters, including one magic specter. So if you normal Bambuku and it gets ashed, which is the best time to ash this deck, you just go contract, make Machinex, and then just make new. So it's totally good. And new does not specifically say add two magic specters from extra deck to hand it says add up to two even in that scenario it still results in this version Elfuria is much better main uh side deck to go first this is like a go uh, going first is what you want your deck to look like or you would like to main deck talents uh but Elfuria is an incredible post side because Elfuria stops purely entirely it stops Kristira and it stops Zeus and it stops unchained from going into any single DD play or Zeus or rank six or rank threes that's substantial so it substantially stops rank uh rank ones it stops purely Kristira and unchained the three most played decks right now so being able to side deck Elfuria is ridiculously powerful because you end on Elfuria Secret Village Kirin Cyclone Tornado uh th that's unbeatable it's unbeatable there's more ways to play this deck i have another version where it's more way more pure but this is very very pure magic specter uh with 15 hand traps in the main and a call by the grave this doesn't have super heavy samurai i think super heavy samurai is the best engine in this deck because even if they were to stop the super heavy samurai cards this is 12 hand traps instead of 15 but your opponent must stop the super heavy samurais or else they're fucked if, if they don't stop it you uh, let's say for example you go motorbike you go wakashi you're getting free scales bro what are they gonna do Valor the fucking uh stardust dragon xl synchro stars dragon no problem anyways no bambuku it protects your place even if you hard draw wakashi and just go into omega you have scales for free and the link too will just add them back to your hand it's incredibly powerful and the brick is big benkai normally but in this deck you literally just scale the big benkai let's say you open big benkai and one of these super heavy samurais bro i don't mind at all you scale this you pen summon resolve big benkai because you have a super heavy samurai on the field search this you can continue playing it's not a brick in a pen deck in sword soul of course it's a brick you're not pen summoning unless you specifically resolve wakashi but in this deck a generic scale is not a brick especially in a deck that lacks scales like magic specters magic specters is focused on the monster effects of the cards so this is why magic specters is a great like none of them have scale effects you get what i'm saying so in this deck it's actually beneficial to play this like massively and post side you have the cross of designators one more variant is the generator version and board if you guys saw the videos i posted yesterday or earlier today whenever i posted the combo video the combo video uh it is an unbreakable board that ends on baron to floor ends on magic specter wind magic specter tornado all this shit uh cyclone wind a bunch of interruptions kieran seeker village locked out of xyz's d barrier eradicator all this shit but it loses to evenly well without the baron you, you don't always open baron you lose to evenly and lose to, uh, to nib a little bit you don't always open the baron sword soul uh, sorry the super heavy helps with that but if you play the super heavies to stop that another way to stop it by playing generators this is a one card combo actually one bambuku one magic spectrum bambuku ends on this board and kirin is also coming to this board by the way so you could uh har is very cool because you go majesty pegasus to search generator boss stage you go boss stage summon har har now stops evenly matched similarly har triggers a specter draco so if you go har tribute token and ogama it triggers magic specter draco special kirin because a card got tributed which is really cool so you can also xyz fox and toad in this scenario to resolve magic specter draco twice in the opponent's turn ending on tornado tempest uh negate uh kirin follow up because you're gonna have special babuku you're gonna then babuku search porcupine porcupine reset itali so it's an absurd level of follow-up by playing generator so as you see there's a thousand ways to play the deck in my opinion this is the best version right here because it capitalizes on super heavy samurai it capitalizes on the most minimal engine you possibly can in magic specters while enjoying the high 
uh, level that you could play with this deck now to link to while playing 17 hand traps post side while going first you have cards like called by and cross out that you could prosperity into so if you have full comp if you have if you open babuku or yada which you're going to do a lot you could prosperity into called by a cross out to make sure your combo resolves while still playing 17 hand traps going second so you actually going first you have seven ways e7 to ensure that your opponent is absolutely cooked to the stratosphere no matter what so you have d7 like called by cross out prosperity that is that is substantial to be able to have that option when you go first uh this is the deck uh i'll show you guys as many deck lists we have of this deck like i said i think this is the best version if i were to choose a second best version it would be the super heavy samurai version with board breakers uh this is also broken because post side you have to keep in mind that post side i want you guys to see how this deck looks like post side where it doesn't matter what deck well you're you're playing this specifically for purely always play in one right geki because a lot of times you're gonna want to search that look at this deck now where you're gonna put this instead of the the trap now you're gonna remove all the super every samurais going second if you're gonna put in this many cards uh it becomes like how do you lose going second that that is literally the argument that comes up like actually how do you lose which sounds insane play one of this you want to remove these 42 card deck we have to remove this as well and secret village i have to put two cards back in i right, can put this back in put this back in tell me how do you lose put it evenly don't really like pegasus is gonna get negated don't need too much of that how do you lose now going second look actually look at this how, how do you lose there's so many cards like it's ridiculous going second like your opponent's absolutely cooked this is going second you might think oh but you might brick on these but you have these nine card combos with six cards in hand wind and pegasus equal full combo as well so 12 porcupine equals full combo so you basically have 15 cards that lead to full combo it's four cards that are great pluses this is ridiculous you then break your opponent's board and set up kieran and cyclone go on forever so kieran will always be bouncing back and summoning back and cyclone will always be getting reset by porcupine so every single turn you're gonna have kieran and cyclone stopping your opponent like interrupting your opponent while your opponent cannot play because you obliterate their board so this is a very big i actually might think this is better than a uh, hand trap version but this is the non hand trap version specifically going second and going first you remove all of these cards that are just board breakers or combo pieces like you just remove it for the basically all of these and you end on a furia with an unbreakable board it's ridiculous that's a video it's also a nice one with hand traps i think pure is also a decent version as well the, the, probably the third best that's a video hope you enjoyed make sure to smash the subscribe button smash the like button as well i'm telling you guys magic Spectre is the best way to play pendulum once this card gets released it goes insane thank you guys for watching the video see you guys next video peace